Practical SQL Server 2012 Administration and Programming Modify Data Insert and Exec We know when we execute a stored procedure the results may be a set of rows which look very much like a table. So, can we insert the result of a stored procedure into a table? Yes, we can. Let's execute the drop tables and drop procedure and create a table and create a stored procedure just in one execute. We keep SQL Server Engine busy and execute, executed it correctly. Let's just see the procedure. The stored procedure is just a simple select. Four columns which will match our table. So let's do an insert exec. We don't have to say execute, we can just say exec see what happens and 17 rows were affected uh, hopefully inserted into the table select and we made it into the table so now we are doing insert exec but instead of stored procedure we have a query in quotes We are doubling of a business entity ID so we don't get a primary key violation. Insert. So now N our 17 rows inserted but the primary key was doubled. And here we see the doubled keys. So we can insert by executing a stored procedure and the stored procedure results set must match. Column wise the insert column set so let's create a temporary table and then we are executing xp command shell command which is dir for directory and let's see what's going to be the result so we create the table this is going to be a command which we are transmitting to xp command shell this is a configuration option it has to be turned on and exec we need the entire script not only part of it now we are selecting we are filtering and selecting so this is a file list uh, which in this folder and drop table so insert exec is a very convenient way of uh, pulling in data from stored procedures or system procedures in fact so let's check the next one And this is a table very similar to a previous test, and this is a procedure. Execute. And this is the insert select, insert select.
and this is the insert execute store procedure and this is insert exec but we have the entire query string in quotes execute and select and we got nine rows because uh, this table just a heap we did not define primary function primary key we see that we were able to insert uh, duplicates we are repositioning to Northwind execute cost or the history stored procedure execute and here is the result so we create a test table and execute insert exec and select so this worked correctly we can even put the results of an exec sp who into a table with an insert exec if we define the table appropriately in the following example we are declaring uh, a table variable this is a table variable now we have to be very careful with the goals we cannot put a go uh, just anywhere we can only put it when we are finished with table stats because if we put in a go we are going to get errors so we see the go at the very end here is the go so let's see the result of this script we starting running it here and we go down 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 and this is where we stop execute well the execution was successful and this is what we got in the table information about tables for example person dot business entity over 20,000 rows and size information as well and how did we get all this information let's check it out we got all this information from the system procedure SP space used and we nicely collected this information into a tabular form and upload it into a table and here we checked the results we can create a table empty without population we select into where we say top zero this will create the right column structure for us but it will not be populated that means empty or zero number of rows and here it is and we can insert exec but in this instance we are not executing a stored procedure rather we are executing a query and we inserted 504 rows so if we look in the table pound prod select star from pound prod execute we see the results let's pay attention to open query which may be very very helpful in our day-to-day -day work in uh, database development and database administration
we use top zero to create an unpopulated table which is which has the same column structure as the results written by SP who with structure. So let's execute it. So data access must be turned on for HP star server. So zero rows inserted. Now we do an insert exec and 39 rows we select and here are 39 rows and we drop the table. Well, we did top zero to demonstrate the insert exec feature, but in fact we can create a table immediately populated. Exec and drop. Data access must be turned on for this function to work. And when we look in sys servers, if we go down, we see that data access is enabled. So if we don't know the column structure, coming back from a stored procedure or system stored procedure, we can use open query to figure it out for us. As long as the result set is well behaved, Open Query will be able to produce the desired result. If we try the same thing with SPHO2, it's not going to work. Because for very obscure reasons, we have an SPID here and we have a same SPID, a column duplication, very unusual way of designing result set. So this is going to give an error because of a duplicate column names. And here it is. Recapping, insert exec is a powerful way of inserting the result set from a stored procedure or system stored procedure or query execution with the exec state. This is the end of a unit.